Don't. I was wondering if you have taken your medication today. Well, a lot of the things that we're trying to do with this robot kind of is a shift from the paradigm that most people are used to. Most most robots that are developed are developed exclusively to showcase, you know, state-of-the-art improvements and very specific functional things. So, you know, you might see robots that are able to jump over things or, you know, pick up, you know, heavy objects, stuff like that. And they're kind of demonstrating what the technology can do. We're more focused on what the need is. To do that, we work very closely with users. We try and understand what the needs are and how robots can actually help. We've recently been awarded funding from Enterprise Ireland. Um, we're looking at a two-year timescale to bring it to market readiness. I think it's important with, with technology like this that we don't try and price people out of the market and make it something that's only affordable to, to, to rich people. Um, to do this, I think, you know, the most sensible thing to do is to use, look at service-based models more, where people perhaps lease it for a fixed period of time. If you take what we're currently doing now with technology is providing assistive technologies, things like motion sensors, things like temperature sensors in, in houses and apps for older people, friends and families. This will be the next generation. But older people will be at the centre of the decision. I think what people don't realise is an awful lot of older people, right, really embrace change. They like new things. The mobile phone is over 20 years old. You may have got one at 45 and you're now 65. By the time this is available to an awful lot of people, there'll be an awful lot of tech savvy older people. But this is about empowerment. This is about older people using their data, their information, to actually stay in control of their health, their welfare, and stay in their own homes. And ultimately, is if we design it and pitch it like that, older people should have no problem with it. Let's take a scenario. Supposing there was monoxide poisoning, and I was there and I was becoming the victim of it. His ability to come along and check on me and raise an alarm, you know, whereas I wouldn't have been in a position to do that, is obviously a life-saving scenario. Being able to keep the lights on while I go to bed, just in case I'd have a fall, rather than me have to knock off lights and fumble around in the dark. And technology is a continually evolving science. And what is up to date today could be obsolete next year. With a robot like Stevie, you can add to it you can increase its capacity to do things and from that point of view the options are endless.